and it's just oh, a cup of Fresh, fresh, oranges, blended. We deserve good things. Hi, guys, says what's good? Welcome back to another video. Today is Sunday, and we're going to be doing meal prep. Last week, we did a very huge meal prep that's gonna carry us throughout the month. However, every week, there's something different and um, essential and important and some things always get finished <laughs> so in this week uh, we're going to have to restock um, just the food that we're going to eat for this week as you guys know my kids have resumed school so weekends are the days when I meal prep, batch prep and all of that good stuff I do have some tomatoes over here. Hobby got these tomatoes today for 6,000 naira each. Let's start off with the stew. I'm also going to batch prep um, some ginger and garlic paste for the week and as always I'm using my Buchi mix um, blender to blend all my items today. This brand is so great. Look at that. <laughs> Buchi mix for the week. I'm gonna add some cooking oil. To begin cooking uh, turkey stew, we're going to add some onion. Now to build up flavor, we're going to add some of that ginger and garlic paste to it. Go ahead to add some curry and some thyme. Stir that up together. And the aroma in the kitchen will leave you so hungry. <laughs> this is literally all you need to like beat up aroma from your doorstep. Anybody that is passing through your street, once they perceive this, they'll come knocking at your door. If you want to take it a bit further, just add some seasoning cubes to it. And that's it. So now everything is frying nicely. You know, we're now ready to pour in our tomatoes. I love to use freshly blended tomatoes. I don't like teen tomatoes. I like them fresh. Um, I'm also going to add like some tatashi and shampoo with pepper. Um, but the last batch that I made was too peppery. So I'm just going to take some batch from that and pour it in so that everything can just blend nicely. So that is why I did not add pepper to this one. So this is the batch that I made last week. This one is actually grilled, that's why it's this color. So it has onions, tatashe, shambo, and pepper. Did I say shambo? It's not shambo. <laughs> so now everything is going to cook nicely. I don't think I've ever made something like this where you have to do like just fresh and grilled together. It's either all freshly blended or all um, grilled blended if you guys get what i mean another thing that i like to do is add my all spices in here um this is because i like everything to cook at the same time i don't want to wait till it has cooked to an extent before i add my i know that that's how some people do theirs but this is exactly how i do my i incorporate everything so that they can all boil together you know the spices would be distributed evenly inside it. 
I'm gonna add some more um, ginger and garlic paste to it so I'm going to add this three times all these are in small small portions so this is the second time we're adding this the same thing that we blended just different times now we're going to cover this and allow it to cook for a long time and uh, we're talking one hour one hour 30 minutes thereabouts or it might be less okay because it's quite much but i like to give it one hour for it to cook properly on low heat there is nothing as sweet as stew that was cooked for a very long time it means that it was well boiled well fried and all of that good stuff so slow um cooked that's what we're doing it's also good for your pots <laughs> to save your pots and uh, from you know getting burnt stains and all of that and um, yeah, we're going to move on to the next um, prep, which is going to be grilling our tomatoes for the week. I like to do, um, you know, spaghetti and tomato paste. I like to do jello fries and everything like that um, in the middle of the week because that is something that my family really loves. I'm going to pull out the big boy. And every time I pull out the big boy, you guys know it's about to go down. We're going to use some parchment paper. Some people have asked what I use. This is what I use, parchment paper. Uh, place that on your baking pan. So in here, we have some tomatoes, tatashe, shombo, onions, and pepper. So put everything in and leave it all spread out. So normally I put um, a bulb of garlic in the middle here, but because I'm going to make garlic paste today, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to sprinkle some cooking oil on top and transfer it into the oven. So I selected some strong tomatoes, the hard ones just so that I can use it during the week for like egg sauce or whatever I want to do that doesn't involve the blended tomatoes or whatever. So I'm just gonna put them carefully in here. They are really hard guys, so they're not going to spoil anytime soon. Okay, and this is more than enough for us. So the next thing I'm going to do is Now I'm going to add a cup of cooking oil I'm going to add one tablespoon of salt to it. This is exactly what you're going to have once it's all blended. Your ginger and garlic paste. All you have to do is take a spoon when you want to cook whatever, marinate, anything. This is perfect for it. It definitely saves time, energy, and it can last for it definitely saves time, energy, and it can last in the fridge. Okay, it definitely saves time, energy, and it can last in the fridge for a very long time. I tend to cook most of the time, so within a week or two, this would have been done with like over a week. is cooking real good so we're going to go to the next prep which is taking care of our body our health so in as much as we take care of the family our kids and everyone in general do not forget to take care of yourself so one way that I take care of myself I prep my turmeric shots 
So turmeric shots are a shot that I take every morning on an empty stomach. It helps to like detox, cleanse my body. It also helps with acne, which I am struggling with. And uh, overall, it's a very good antioxidant. So everyone should really, really include it in their um, diet and their healthy journey. In here, I've got my oranges, my ginger, my lemon, and my turmeric. I'm just going to put everything up in this blender. It's crazy putting it in this blender because it's going to get stained. And I don't want to stain my blender. I don't know. I'm going to have to look for a blender that's working in my store because this is a pay me because you know turmeric stains. Nah, it's too risky. <laughs> Guys, I found a blender for my shots. So it's the Black Deca blender. Um, I've had it in the store for a while. So I'm just going to add my turmeric in there. I'm going to add my garlic. Normally, I like garlics with the back when I'm doing my shots but well, these have been peeled for a while so I'm just going to do it this way okay and I'm going to add some oranges to this basically peeling off the back of it I normally call this like lemon thyme <laughs> I had this so much when I was pregnant with my child. I think Andre, yes, I had it so, so much. It was so good. I think I should have one now. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, so good. I'm definitely going to include this in the kids' lunchbox uh, tomorrow. It's so good, guys. Put everything in here. Mmm. Mmm. Hmm. Okay, for the lemon, we want to cut the back of it. And drop. I know my knife is blunt. And I should get like new knives. So my husband is really hungry. He keeps coming into the kitchen to check if the food is ready. And it needs to be ready fast. But I tell this young man that... Who's young man? <laughs> Not Papa Andre. <laughs> Papa Andre, what is that? <laughs> Baby, I'm ready fast. Baby, you don't rush greatness, okay? Honestly, guys, you shouldn't rush this too. Don't rush this too. If not, that's too enough of his sweets. So it's a sacrifice that you know we all have to take. Okay, I've never really like separated lemon before. I honestly did not know that <laughs> it could look like this. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny, right? So the last thing I'm supposed to put that I haven't shown you guys yet, I think I forgot, is um, my carrots. So in here is freshly washed and scraped um, carrots. So it's just ready to eat okay ready for consumption so i prepped this um last week that is why it's much more easier for me to do a light prep this week so i'm just going to take like these two because the remaining ones here is what i want to use the rest of the week monday to friday i think i'm going to take three because we deserve good things too right in there so there we have it Cover that and blend. This is my turmeric mesh bag. Yes, only for turmeric. That's why I can see how yellow it is. 
So you have to be very careful with this one. She stains very quickly. Slowly and gently. Thankfully I haven't done my nails, so it's okay. I think I'll be doing a self-care maintenance uh, maybe tomorrow. If you have done your nails, if you have white nails, I'm sorry, you can't do this because it's will stay. Okay. Guys, we have a stained yellow hand. Oh my god. I don't like this. <laughs> My husband is going to keep coming to the kitchen, so the best thing for me to do is to just attend to him. So, thankfully, um, I did like some concussion stew this morning because like I said, we had like leftover of a lot of things. And I didn't want to cook too much because, you know, I don't have so much space in my freezer. So, I just just make something very concussion -y, but it was actually nice and that's what's having along with some bean. Anytime I'm meal prepping like this, I don't really cook what we're going to have for dinner, if you get what I mean. I just cook what I am meal prepping so that I don't do two things at the same time, okay? Whatever I meal prep is not what we're going to eat for that day. It's probably be like the next day and for the week. So I'm just going to give bake this one and I'll be right back for that. Um, we're done with our shots now. Now we have uh, five bottles. <laughs> I don't know where I kept the rest of the bottles, so this is going to be for like five days. Monday to Friday, I have my shot. I'm just gonna keep this in the fridge. Okay. okay. And the rest, I think I'm just going to drink it. It's not bad. The stew is cooking nicely. So this is the part where I just add the leftover um, ginger and garlic paste that I have in here because I don't want to rinse it out. Now you can definitely see that we have small bubbles in it and that's because it's being cooked on low heat. I'm just going to add the last of the seasonings to it. Give it a good stir. You can see that the oil has settled on top and this is how thick our stew is right now. Some people might just go ahead and leave their stew like that, which is me. This is how I like to leave my stew, <laughs> like this. Uh, but my husband doesn't like it this way. So I will definitely add some water to it eventually. But I'm just gonna go ahead and put in my turkey that was grilled in uh, my huge monthly meal prep. I do have some frozen ones here, but it's going to be frozen in it. Some chicken for the kids. Hobby says they want some goat meat in it, and who am I to say no? <laughs> His wish is my command, so in goes some um, cooked goat meat. So guys, you see how easy it is to just cook? I'm not doing too much. I'm not being too tired today because of our monthly prep. Just going to add this one as it is it's just water and ice and it's going to definitely dissolve in it so don't feel bad if you're doing this okay it's cooked it's clean it's tasty it's yummy it's just you know frozen okay 
so there you go so let's just call this our turkey and goat meat stew and no the goat meat um flavor is not going to take over the whole thing and that's because um, it's not a goat meat stew there is no goat meat sauce these goat meats have already been air fried so it's not going to take over okay as you can see once again i haven't added any water but the bubble is not all that much because it's cooking on low heat and that's why it's not being burnt okay so look we're going to stir it up together nothing is being burnt okay no burnt nothing which is the exact way you want your stew to be okay oil on top and that's it point i feel like it's okay i don't want it too dark some people opt for the darker ones but you can see that some parts are already dark some are getting burnt in there um i think i'm fine with this stage so i'm just going to bring it out of the oven and blend it i am getting tired like my tired is tired right now <laughs> but we still have tomatoes to blend my legs are starting to ache but once i just get done with this i'm pretty much be done for the rest of the day so pulling out our tomatoes Whew, this is so good nicely nicely but i really feel fulfilled um doing all these things because i know that this way it's gonna just go by just like the breeze who else thinks that this um i said december so who else thinks that september is just running so fast like why where is it running to every single thing leftover garlic paste that we're using for the stew if you can remember I'm also rinsing out my ginger and garlic paste that we did oh guys this ginger and garlic paste smells so good so so good and we're going to cover and blend this blended grilled tomatoes we're going to store this in the freezer i'm just going to keep this inside the freezer and now we can cook our pasta jello fries or whatever during the week because we have this now so let's check in on our stew you can see that it's been bubbling on low heat the oil has come on top and it's just oh so good now this is what i mean by cooking <laughs> a big batch of stew on low heat this thing did not even burn okay but that your, your pot is non-stick or stick pots <laughs> is it non-stick or stick <laughs> if you know you know but anywho this did not burn the goat meat is looking really yummy i'm tempted to eat it but i don't want to okay another thing is that um you don't really need to cook it all the way i don't really need to finish cooking my stew i can just cook it more than halfway let's say 80 percent ready and stop leave it in the pot overnight then the next day finish it up in like say 10 to 20 minutes still on low heat i promise you it is going to be so good because all the ingredients the spices the chicken the turkey whatever it is that you used to cook it you would have marinated deeply and tad inside every corner of the stew that you're making so this is one trick that i always always use but don't tell anybody okay <laughs> so i'm just going to turn it off and leave it there no need for me to put it inside um, the freezer leave it there tomorrow morning i continue but yeah guys this is everything i'm going to be prepping for today um i don't think i'm going to do any pastry thingy one because i'm tired my leg aches and two because we have some apples 
and since my kids don't eat fruits I mean Ava kind of like takes apple now and again but she loves her bananas so I'm going to probably do like an apple pastry tomorrow um, while packing their lunch box and if you want to know how I do like my apple snack or whatever all you just have to do is click the link in my description box I have an ebook recipe for picky toddlers like mine that will not eat their veggies will not eat their fruits and whatsoever regardless of whether i'm showing you guys some recipes of you know cooking some things i still have an ebook so you should definitely patronize it because i'm giving you free knowledge okay free knowledge but there's much more in my ebook so you can just be nice and purchase my ebook okay it's made me happy i don't it's you know i'll be willing to do more and more videos like this okay so anyways thank you so much for watching i do hope you enjoyed uh, this one this is just a weekly prep that i do and um yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye besties